Hey retro fans, welcome back to Retro Gaming Memories. Um, after a short hiatus, um, I've moved house. Uh, we're in the new place now. Um, and as you can see, the games room has changed uh, slightly. Um, I'm still surrounded by boxes, which are behind the camera at the moment. Um, I'm in a little corner that I've just about got done. Um, so yeah, so this, this won't be the permanent view going forward, but um, I just wanted to do a little quick video because it's been a while. Um, Moving house is always stressful and chaotic at the best of times, but uh, ours was kind of condensed into nine weeks of, of craziness, just constant packing up stuff, and I didn't realise how much rubbish I actually had. Um, sold lots of it, kept some of it, found stuff I'd forgotten about. Um, but yeah, so it was just it was just crazy getting rid of all that stuff. Um, I actually sold enough stuff to, to enable us to get Pickfords to do the move. Um, so we got them to to move all our stuff, which was which was great because by the time we came to do the move, we were absolutely exhausted. And even then, with Pickford's doing the move, they had a a van the size of a double decker bus um, full of all our stuff. And even then, um, Jack's my wife was was cleaning all day, just running about, and we were still doing trips with stuff in a car and. Uh, we were still at it at like five to midnight and all that kind of stuff. Oh, it was it was crazy. So I'm I'm really glad that that's behind us, um, and now um, you know we're in the new place and we're kind of doing a room at a time. Um, and uh, I've I've kind of started getting round to the games room. Um, just been trying to get other bits and bobs done. So um, so made a start on it um, and just trying to get things kind of back together a little bit. So. Um, so hopefully we'll, we'll get back on track and start doing more more videos again um, and, and see what happens. But um, I wanted to do a little mini unboxing video review thing um, of something that I got, which is... Uh, now there's loads of these, loads of videos, so there's nothing new and surprising in this, but I bought a 6 to 4 mini. Um, I'd been holding off. I quite liked the idea of this when I saw it. Um, yeah. I liked the idea of it when it was going to be a full size uh, 64 with the, with the gubbins inside it, but they, I think they realised it was too too expensive to produce. So they they made the mini version, and uh, and eventually it came to to fruition, and uh, and here we are. So I've been holding off because uh, I joined a few Facebook groups about it and all that kind of stuff, and there seemed to be teething issues, shall we say. Um, but eventually there was a firmware released earlier this week which lets you plug in a USB drive they've finally got the kind of file browser going so you can plug in a USB stick with all your games on it and just kind of look through them and, and load them up without any faff there were, I think originally you could just have one disc on a USB stick so if you wanted to change a game you had to copy it over and all that kind of stuff and some clever people found ways around about that and made compilation discs and things but it was still a bit of a faff so uh, I, I kind of waited until it was sort of usable. Um, so yeah, so so I've held off, but uh, but I picked one up. So I've got my little knife here. So we'll do a little bit of unboxing. And uh, I've got ten percent battery left on my my phone here. So I'm hoping that that this all goes through without me uh, having to re-record any of this stuff. But we'll see. Right. So a nice little cut there. Always like to keep these boxes. Back in the day when I was a kid, I would have just ripped this into bits because I didn't know any better. We should probably have a little look at the box actually if you haven't seen this. Um, so there we go, nice. Um, what's on here? I've not actually looked at this myself. Features HD and, and whatnot. Some of the included games. And uh, what's actually in the box. So it's very nice. I mean, it looks like the, the C64 packaging. From, from back in the day. Uh, so the attention to detail is quite nice. I've just noticed as well it's got a Peggy 7 rating, that's a bit strange. Um, quite why you would have that, I don't know. So then our box is nice, it's got the 64 logo, it continues through. Uh, it's just one of these kind of boxes. Da -da -da. There we go. So, there we go. Oh, glare. So it's nicely packaged. Um, I'm just trying to see how we get this out. Right, so it's all in little sections. Right, here we go, here we go. So this section comes out, it's the mini itself. The 
the packaging is really nice actually. And here is the main event. Sorry if this is a bit dull, I don't have any of my lights, I haven't actually found them yet. So obviously as we know the keys don't work, but it feels nice. A um, couple of USB ports and your, your power switch, uh, HDMI and the power in. So I mean it looks obviously like a C64, which is really nice. Um, we have the remodel of the Competition Pro joystick. Um, it looks quite nice, rubber feet and all that. Buttons feel nice. The stick feels nice. All the buttons feel good. Uh, it's USB and apparently this works on PCs and all that kind of stuff as well. Now, I have heard issues and I've seen many, many pictures of this guy snapping. I don't know if people are being overzealous with it or, or whatever. Um, but it's quite a short screw that, that holds it in, apparently. Um, so I did consider getting my Dremel out and putting a longer screw into that shaft, but we'll see. Um, I like to think that I'm careful with these things, so we'll see how it goes. But um, but the joystick looks good. We get, what is that? It's a micro USB cable. HDMI cable. And the C64 quick guide, which looks like the original basic book that came with it. Um, so, not not a lot in it, just the usual kind of stuff setting up. It's nice, I mean, it looks like the kind of original manual and stuff. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, there, there are 64 games on it. I can't remember all what's on it, and I don't have my glasses on. Uh, Impossible Mission 2, Speedball, Spin Dizzy, Nebulous, Boulder Dash, California Games, Paradroid. I never really liked Paradroid, I must be the only guy. Iridium. So there's there's quite a few on there that I do like. I mean, I, I remember seeing the kind of full list of carousel and stuff. And there's quite a few on there that I do like. Um, and there are quite a few that will be adding myself some weird and wonderful classics that people probably don't like that much. Uh, like Blue Max. I used to like Blue Max. Um, and I'll be putting other classics on it like Bruce Lee and uh, Beachhead and all that kind of stuff. So I'm looking forward to setting it up. I haven't done any of the firmware upgrades, obviously. I've just unboxed it, so... Um, I think you need to upgrade the firmware to get the proper functionality out of it. Um, but I'll, I'll go and have a quick play with it and see what it's like. But I will do a, a, a follow-up video with the actual setup and stuff. I might record doing the actual firmware upgrade and we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Just I just wanted to kind of say, hello, I'm not dead. I have actually moved house um, and we're, we're back with it. So... Um, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for more videos. Um, thank you for sticking with me during this hiatus. Um, the subscriber numbers didn't drop too much. We had 201 subscribers the last time I checked, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, thanks again for watching. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. See, I'm out of practice. But, yeah, you know the drill. Uh, yeah, see you next time.